Right. I wasn't going to expect this video because we're supposed to be having a hiatus at the moment, MAA. But uh, I thought it's about something I enjoy, wrestling. And it's about an incident that happened that, uh, to be honest, shouldn't have happened. But at the same time, it did. And I know a lot of people want to see my views on this. But um, where my webcam is, it's a bloody joke. Because <laughs> I haven't set this up in ages. Um, so you have to put up with it moving now and again or not being in the right place. I do try and set things up properly, but never anything goes right because I haven't used my webcam in a while. Um, it's normally on top of my telly, but I just can't be bothered. <laughs> I hardly use it, and I wasn't expecting to record a video, so... Apologies for the... Well, that saves me time, if you heard that, which is very unlikely with this microphone, but, uh... I wish this would stay down. But uh, there's not much I could do about where the position of the camera is. Because I haven't had it set up in ages. But again, let's, let's get off that and just hope for the best I can. Just put it somewhere that I can. Oh, you know what? I don't care because I don't get much views on here. So I'll just put it wherever it fits. And just get on with this video. It's going to be long enough anyway. Um, for those who don't know, yes, I'm an AEW fan, a wrestling fan. Uh, I used to like WWE, but, you know, fell out with it. But since AEW's came on, WWE's doing some great stuff recently. And, um, WrestleMania 40 was awesome. Let's just put it out there. So, what I want to do now is watch this footage. Uh, the backstage incident at All In in Wembley last year. Um, to be honest, I don't see why they did it now. We, we, we want to get past this. It's supposed to be, you know, the company's supposed to be run by adults, not children. Um, it's only proven a point to one side of the fact that it's run by children, and like government, they don't know what they're doing. They just think, oh, let's do have a playground fight and see you know oh this person's done this so let's go and prove them right by showing footage of this it sounds like school stuff so it's like you know uh no disrespect to the unbucks i'm a huge fan of the unbucks as well as ftr uh, um but i just don't get why they want to put this footage out but it does prove a point that you know, someone's a liar in this situation. Uh, <laughs> we all know who. Um, let's, without further ado, see if you want to check the full video out. Uh, search it on YouTube or watch AEW Dynamite. I do not want to, you know, ruin anything for people. If you don't want to listen to me talk over it with my reactions or you want to see the video first, go watch AEW Dynamite. It's... Um, <laughs> Just to support AEW the way they are, watch it on ITV Hub when it comes out. Was it ITV Hub? No, it's ITV X now, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm far behind. Uh, you can either watch it on that, you can watch it on wherever you are in America. It's probably repeated. Or if you want to watch it for free, I do not condone this, but this is how I watch it because in the UK we're so far behind. We don't get Dynamite until Friday, uh, if that's still a thing. But... Um, you can watch it at a wrestling site called Watch Wrestling. Google it. I'm not going to to share the link because that could get me into trouble, and I don't want that. But that's how I watch it, and all the pay-per-views. You can watch anything wrestling on there for free if you can't afford it with the times of cost of living. But I really recommend you support WWE, AEW as much as you can by watching their products and buying their merch. Otherwise, we won't have great television. It's bad enough television. It's boring as it is. But anyway, 
and I've said for four to five minutes of bullshit. This is bullshit. <laughs> Let's get into the video. Alright, well, it looks like they're in a conversation. Seems like Punk's being an arsehole about it. Simone Joe's laughing at it. Yeah, this is typical. You know, Punk's being like, oh, who's watching? You know, let's show off a bit. And then push. Yeah, he pushed him. He's a liar. And look, he's beat the. No matter what way you look at this, Punk's an ass. <laughs> he shouldn't have done that. Just because he didn't agree to um, Jack Perry doing a stunt using real glass, what's wrong with that? I have no trouble, because when I used to do wrestling, it was real glass. <laughs> and I mean literally, not fake sugar glass that doesn't hurt like action stuff real glass you've got the thing is with professional wrestling you want to try and make it as real as possible okay i understand from two points of view jab harry wanted to do something real you don't want to do anything fake it's bad enough people call wrestling fake as it is um his reaction saying real glass cry me a river obviously direct now we, i've had this during my time in wrestling where someone done something wrong the way i approach it is you talk to them and say look okay it's good what you're doing but you need to be a bit more safe i don't agree with it talk about it you don't do what punk just did push him and then you know try and beat him up that, that's just childish and stupid of punk to do that and i feel like punk was sent there to take down AEW so wwe can thrive the problem is WWE needs AEW to make them big in my mind because if there's no competition there's no point when you've got competition out there you make yourself look good and it gives opportunities because you're only one company you can't put every single wrestler on one big company and try and get on TV because you're going to end up having so many episodes you know so many shows it doesn't make any sense and then you're going to have Monday Night Raw, Friday Night Smackdown, NXT, something random. You know, it's just all under the one WWE banner. And then you can't put all these wrestlers who are out there wanting to earn their craft and show their craft on TV to one show. That's why it's good that they have multiple shows, like big shows like AEW. You can go there. Because like back in the day when WCW was a thing, that made wrestling good. AEW is doing the same thing, but Punk is being an idiot. And I know he won't watch these videos and don't <laughs> and doesn't know about me and probably doesn't quite care. He'll probably go, Oh, you know, you're not really a wrestler. You've never been in the WWE. You haven't got a ah. Yeah, you've got your point of view, Punk. I'm not going to go and you know, disagree with what you say and I'm not going to disagree with what Jack Perry said. But right there, that was schoolboy era by, you know, doing that. And the way you were looking around, like, oh, I'm a tension seeker. It's, I And you can go, kick off all you want. But that's a true tell sign of an attention seeker. So it was, oh, like, look, look, everybody's coming around. Everybody's going to watch me. You know, I'm a big boy. You know, this is schoolboy stuff. They should have, you know, you could have dealt with it in a better manner by sitting him down, talking to him. No. I want to be a big boy. This is school crap. This shouldn't be happening in AEW. And, you know, and I don't know why they've wanted to air this or anything. Blah, blah, blah. Now, when they could have just aired it at the time to prove that Punk was a liar, that, you know, he did attack Jack Perry, even though he said Jack Perry punched him. I don't see no evidence of that. He walked directly up to Jack Perry, started whapping his gums, being old CM Punk he is. But. 
but Tony Khan was in a hard position and had to fire both of them. Hence why Jack Perry's doing stuff in New Japan, uh, doing very well, trying to, to develop his uh, singles run, which I think is a good thing. And maybe when things are calmed down, he, sh he can come back to AEW. That's up to Jack Perry. <laughs> CM Punk should never be allowed back in AEW. And it's bad enough that WWE allowed him in there and kissing his ass and all that when this shit's happened. And I bet Vince McMahon doesn't care because he's not involved with WWE because he's a, in trouble. Uh, he's a millionaire. No, a billionaire who you know throws his weight around. <coughs> but I'm sure Hunter's not bothered because it, it makes more money because he's still talked about. And I found it really poetic that if you watch the fan footage... People are chanting on egging on CM Punk. Why? Because he's doing something that children do in a playground. He's being an attention seeker. He wants more people to see him to make out that this product is piss poor, is bad, and he wants to make the company look bad. I see a punk for you. It's another way with Hulk Hogan and his BS when he had creative control over his character and wouldn't put anybody over. So on the top list, I would say between CM Punk and Hulk Hogan are the worst of the worst in wrestling I can think of. That have basically shot themselves in the foot by acting like, oh, I'm big, I know it all, I'm a, you know, I'm a schoolyard bully. That's my views. If your views are different, I respect them. But this is what I'm seeing, and this is not how professional wrestlers should act. This is not how you want to promote your company. And this is not something that CM Punk should have done. But from my side of view, he's a attention seeker. I don't care if he says that he's not, I don't care if he has a go at me. I'm only going by what footage has been shown. I don't really give a damn. He acted unprofessionally. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, like that guy when someone said wrestling is fake and he slapped him across the face. That was unprofessional. But that was because someone's calling it fake. <laughs> this situation was over a little bit of a stunt so what yes punk had his views he could have just voiced his opinions and then left not push him and grapple him showing off of everybody watching it <sighs> this is probably gonna get me a lot of hate for the video and uh, hate against a lot of CM punk fans but people are gonna be like oh but Dan you're not a CM punk fan <laughs> well I was until this moment to be honest he is one of them people that can't <laughs> do anything without being a attention seeker yes he had funny pipe bomb promos he had f great stuff doing when he went to WWE and when he came back to AEW it was like okay let's see what he can do and then he fucks it all up by doing that you know and everybody be like oh but you're hating on it because you're an AEW fan no I'm not hating on Punk for because I'm an AEW fan. I'm also a WWE fan. Plus, I used to be a CM Punk fan until it, you know, until all this footage comes out. Until we heard about all his issues that he got, you know, he's causing problems backstage with people. He acts like a tension-seeking prick. But that's just what I'm seeing, you know, and. I don't care. I mean, if it was in the ring and it was part of an act, a part of the show, I would have shook his hand and said, great, you've done a real good job being a hill. But this is not being a hill. This is being just childish and stupid because he thinks he's it. And yes, I'm a Paul Heyman fan. And to be honest, I know he respects CM Punk and probably doesn't give a shit about all, all this. But I don't think... Paul Heyman would have done the same thing. He would have talked him down saying, nah, 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 nah. and Paul Heyman used to use real glass in ECW, I think. He, uh, they used to use barbed wire, for Christ's sake. They used to use loads of weapons. 
I did see him punk like uh, have a go at him, push him around, saying I don't like this. <laughs> you're, you're damaging your body. No. The way I put it is, if someone wants to do something stupid, like use real glass, let them. It's their lives. I mean, yeah, okay, it's going to shorten their career, but that's up to them. Don't dictate what someone should do. You know, it's nice to say, oh, yeah, you know, I, I think you should do this, you know, I'm, you know, more wiser, blah, blah, blah. But to act cocky and do this is like, no. You don't do that. <sighs> and... You know, an AEW for doing this feels like school pranks. Oh, well, not school prank, but schoolyard bullying. Because something happened, and then someone's grown away, and now they're just trying to egg it on to keep, you know, going against this bully. Yeah, okay, I've done it myself where I've written a story about my, my childhood of being bullied talking about a bully called RH who's yeah, basically a CM, a CM Punk but in reality to me but I don't keep airing it I can't keep you know I don't keep bringing it up all the time like he wants to and I don't <coughs> you know I didn't have some security footage recorded of it and you know of him punching me in my stomach <laughs> I you know and I oh it'd be a bit wrong because it'd be in the um, you can't have cameras in change rooms. Uh, but still, you know, if it was me, and I, well, I had an incident with a few wrestlers, or, you know, some youngsters coming in, I let them do what they want. I give them my opinion, I give them my advice, and it's up to them to decide. I don't go and punch them in the face or grapple them, saying, you're a fucking dickhead, uh, I'm a tension seeker. You know, you don't use real glass, you don't say that shit on public, tele public live broadcast. It's up to them. That's how you want to push your character for the audience to make it more reality. To be like, okay, there's a few going on here. Let's push that few by bringing some reality into it. Not this crap, the schoolboy crap. But letting him go around and go, cry me a river, it's real glass. Leave it in the ring. Don't beat up shit backstage and then have all this story come out and say, oh well Jack Perry come out and punch me he's a little shit no this footage is evidence that you're a liar punk, but at the same time it's stupid that they put it out so so cover both ends instead of people going oh but you're a hypocrite, you love AEW yeah but I don't see the point of this footage being aired, but it's great they did air it, but, you know, we already knew Punk was a liar. Just sort of left it to it, or released it out at the time, not now. But, again, okay, that's wrestling for you. <laughs> anyway, if you've watched AEW Dynamite, if you've watched, you know, the EVPs, security footage of this, seeing Punk, Jack Perry fight, Backstage it all out in Wembley. What are your thoughts on it? Really like to know. But the, you know, all this I'm saying is my thoughts, not to be like shitting on anything or whatever. This is what I see from my point of view, my views. So you don't have to have the views. You don't have to agree with my views. But I like to know everybody's views. Everybody's got opinions, and I, I don't mind listening to them, sharing my thoughts with them. And this is why I thought was a, I didn't want to do this video, but at the same time, everybody's doing it. And I thought, well, I might as well get on the bandwagon because professional wrestling is my love and passion, as well as video gaming. And I'm a big fan of these two. I thought that this was going to be into a great feud one day, you know, Jack Perry versus CM Punk. But CM Punk being CM Punk, he wasn't going to work with pricks, apparently, because he's a prick himself. Anyway, what are your guys' thoughts? Hope you enjoyed. I'm going to go and disappear again into my dark depths of fear. No, I'm joking. I'm just going to go off. This is my one-off video I wasn't going to make. And anything more pops up, I might pop in now and again. But uh, this has gone on too long. I'll 
let you all go and we'll keep you updated with everything going on in the Squirrels United family and um, keep an eye on social media links are in the description below <laughs> I think <laughs> and we'll catch you the, the Game Bro Studio fans and Squirrels United fans in the next one this mess